This home is located in one of the coveted areas of Ancaster. It has beautiful trails and escarpments. Kate and Nate called on me to help take this home from its previous renovations and additions and make it more cohesive to their lifestyle. They also wanted to open up the space and have more of a, I want to say like livable modern style because they're a family that have two young kids. It needed to feel open and airy, but also be durable and functional for a growing family. When you walked into the space, you were greeted by a closet that was kind of boring and was grabbing too much attention and uh, the living room was closed off a bit. What we decided to do was be greeted when you open up your front door with a console table, an art piece, wall lights, something that was very inviting to the space and open up into the living room so you can see all the natural light from the windows into the living room and the fireplace and really draw you into the space. We pushed the closet now, because everybody needs a hall closet if you can afford one with your square footage, to the side. And then we took some of the storage from the guest room. To be able to create that, we cladded the closet in shiplap and put a pretty little light fixture above it. So it has its own personality and style. Originally, the window there had mullions in it. So when we did windows throughout, we decided that that front window was gonna be one beautiful feature picture window. And then we went ahead and put an entry table centered right on that picture window and dropped a pendant light fixture and decorated it all nicely. So when you come into the space, it just looks pretty. We weren't going to relocate the stairs and the stairs take you upstairs and the stairs obviously take you up. Who would have thought? And <laughs> we wanted to make them more of a feature. So what we did to create more of a clean and simple aesthetic is removing the risers. And then you can really see through and it invites you into the kitchen and it's not so much a form that's blocking the rest of the space, but more of a complement to the space. The living room before was still a little more closed off. You have to remember that there was a bit of a wall that separated the kitchen from the living room. And we had also opened up the stairs to going down to the basement. So there was an existing fireplace here before. It was a brick and it had a hearth. It was your traditional style. Now when you walk in the space, it really becomes a focal interest. We have a whole wall of glass and then we've got this stunning fireplace here with the porcelain slab and the custom bookends on both sides. We wanted to put the custom bookends and just add a little bit of warmth with the wood as well because we needed a place to put books and tchotchkes and picture frames and whatever needs to be hidden before a guest shows up. We added a few architectural elements to the space. We were lucky enough to be able to introduce wood beams to the ceiling because they have all of this height and it's a nice long space back here. Adding the beams to the ceiling creates warmth some interest. We were also able to do a paneled wall that I think is quite stunning when you're in the kitchen looking towards the living room area and just again another layer of texture is nice when you have such nice ceiling heights to play with. The back of the house had windows and patio doors but we were able to open up even more of the exterior wall and put in these beautiful double sliders that creates such an inviting space when you're entertaining at night in the dining room area and it takes you right out to their beautiful backyard and their deck and their patio. We were also able to create a nice long table in the space, making it cozy and casual enough when it's the four of them in the evening, but also very inviting when they wanna have family over or celebrate a holiday. The kitchen had a dropped ceiling. It was about eight feet in height. And what we did is we just pushed it up as far as we could go and then that allowed that kitchen to be more of an open concept with the back of the house and the dining room and the living room. And now it feels like it's all part of one cohesive space. What I wanted to do because it was more of an open concept feeling is not make it feel so much like a kitchen. So what we did is we removed the upper cabinets all together and then we created a nice long island that goes into the dining room and living room area and it seats four and it's full of drawers so that the kids can put their own dishes away, grab their own water, has the Tupperware in there, and then we made space for a walk-in pantry. 
We have our appliance wall there and we have an appliance cabinet that has the toaster and the kettle and we painted it all out white. So it's just kind of minimal and clean and modern. Originally, the main floor had two formal dining areas, which seemed a bit much and not the way that the clients use the space. So what we did instead is we created the space in the front with more of a gaming table, circular round, inviting, more organic feel for the kids to hang out. The powder room originally was a bit larger. We took some of that space to create a pantry in the kitchen, way more important. It still has a nice toilet and a custom vanity with a fluted door front and the most fun tile. I have to say I was a bit nervous if my clients were gonna go for a cement tile that I think was actually called the blob, but they saw it immediately and fell in love with it. And I was so excited because I think it just fits the space so well and it just shows who they are too, fun. We had some fun with the laundry room. It was a nice space, so we were able to create a lot of storage in there. And then we put the washer and dryer up on custom pedestals, so there's additional storage below. I'm really happy with the way that the space turned out. We did a nice cement tile print on the backsplash. We had the luxury of space, so we were able to create a pull-out laundry bin and a pull-out recycling center, as well as additional storage for closet space and a hanging rod. It really has everything that you need. The clients are very happy with how the renovation turned out. It was a fun project to do with them. I'm very much in love with their aesthetic and I'm very proud with the results of this renovation.